Hi, this is painter Dana Torrey. I want to share with you an artistic collaborative effort in design and figurative painting. This painting project is an attempt to capture three elements. First, I want to capture the connection between this woman and her two dogs. Secondly, I'd like to show the pool and garden she designed. Thirdly, I want to show her enjoyment of the environment she created. My first step was to photograph the woman, her two dogs, and her garden over three separate occasions. The result was a design that would work well in her home in a space she had reserved for my painting. I needed to create a line drawing to help develop the sketch for the final painting. I created a charcoal sketch on canvas so she could see what the design would look like on the wall. The next step was to build a structure to paint on. I cut a sheet of Luan to the final design size of the painting. I like to mount the Luan on 1x2 lumber to project the painting off the wall. The staple holes from the construction all need to be filled and smoothed. At this point, the surface is ready to be primed and base painted. When the surface is dry, I'm ready to start the sketch. I will use a projector as a quick method of getting my sketch to the painting surface. Now is the time to start a wash. This will neutralize the brightness of the surface, it will remove the excess graphite, and create a unique underpainting. Karen, the woman featured in the design, along with my two children, will help make the wash. Next, it's time to rough in the general shapes with blocking. The first color we're going to use for blocking is Mars Violet. My second most favorite color for blocking is Burnt Sienna. It works well juxtaposed to Mars Violet. The first thing I want to work on on the finish is the sky. It's the farthest thing back in space. And then I want to work towards the front to the closest most object and then finish with working on the focal point of the painting. The obvious focal point of this painting is the woman and her two dogs. People tend to be most critical of the human form, so I will finish with her face to end the painting. Think of that color. I think that's good for the shade. I see yeah. portrait painting as a collaborative effort, and I enjoy having my subject apply paint to the canvas. What I'm working on now is coming up with titles for the painting. Karen, the subject of the painting, has stopped by today to pick a title while visiting with my dogs. My feeling was that this is the gift of love, and that's how I feel about my dogs and that's what I think the painting represents to me and I think anyone who has dogs they'll get that they'll get that message Karen is stopping by the studio for her first look at the fully varnished painting if she feels the painting is complete it'll be time to take it to her home and install it at the top of her staircase I would say that you immortalized my gift of love very nicely. Sometimes my work is too large to fit in my car, but today I'm lucky it fits in so I can deliver the painting to Karen's house in the car. Along with the painting, I need to hang it, so I've included my tape measure, pencils, hammer, and some wall hooks, which are the picture hangers. I often need to bring a ladder, but today there's a landing at the top of the stairs where the painting is going to be hung, so that's one thing I did not need to bring. Such a beautiful scene, beautiful colors, beautiful lighting, and just the expressions. Oh, it's just so full of peace and love and beauty. I love it. So that's it, another completed painting, a happy client, and it's time to think about a new project. I hope you learned a little something about painting, enjoyed the process, and have a greater appreciation for art. I look forward to having you join me on my next painting adventure. I want to 
wanted you inside your garden, which I think by moving this purple 